coming up on a year on one of the most hor horrendous genocides that we've seen in the Gaza Strip. And of course, we know as South Africa how brutal the Israeli apartheid is on the Palestinian people. Over 40,000 people declared dead. That's not the people under the rubble. Majority of them women and children. And so it's very important that peace-loving people all over the world show solidarity for the essential freedoms of the Palestinian people. And we need to ensure that that struggle lives on and we support them the same manner in which they support at us during the anti-apartheid struggle and until we got our freedom. So we must not rest until they get their freedom. You see, I think there's a lot of talk more than action. And it's up to us, young leaders in this country, to start mobilizing young people. For example, we went to Ethiopia when everyone was talking about Ethiopia being under siege. As young people, we went to Ethiopia. We signed indemnities to say we are going to support practical and see if Ethiopia will continue to be bombed when there's international community now going to Ethiopia. Often when these countries and when there's international problems like in Palestine, people run away from the problem. We shouldn't run away and speak away from this problem. We must all, as the international community, find ways to go to the center of this problem. Because there, there's a 60-year-old Palestine, a Palestinian kid who's being bombed, who's at the center of the problem. We are kilometers and, and miles away from the problem. And all we do as adults in these countries that are free, such as South Africa, we talk about these problems. And that's not enough. So we need to see more action behind supporting the people of Palestine.